Hey everybody, Tony D. Uh, Little Jones asleep on the couch and I'm going to wrap it here with a screenwriter's rant on gunpowder milkshake. Smash like and subscribe. Thank you for smash liking and subscribing. Please check out my books. Links in the description. But more importantly, check out my other videos on BitChute and Rumble. YouTube has demonetized me and uh, can, I continue to argue with them, but they continue to not pay me. So... Join me on BitChute and Rumble, the future of videos like this. Now, Gunpowder Milkshake. Now, this is about a hit woman who has to get out and turns against her masters. And judging by what you've heard me talk about gangster movies, you might say, oh, he's going to love this movie. Well, I just don't. <laughs> uh, the lead is played by uh, Karen Gillum. Uh, Gillen? Is it Gillen? Yeah, I guess it's Gillen. Uh, she she plays Nebula from uh, Guardians of the Galaxy and and the uh, Marvel movies. So, um, and she's really good in that. I mean, you know, she's believable as an angry, you know, daughter of Thanos or whatever. In this, she just seems kind of boring. And maybe it's the trailer, but I just I just don't believe her in this role. You know, I, and, and maybe it's the cut of the trailer. The The trailer is cut like a big Hollywood movie. And Cersei plays her mom, who she hasn't seen in years. And then the story is something like the classic hitman story where the hitman turns against the, the, the bosses in order to save someone. But then the mother-daughter dynamic is in it too. And then instead of the Continental, they have a library and then... To order a gun, you have to name a particular book and or an author, and and they're all female authors, so it's like, oh, you need a Jane Austen or you need an Ag Agatha Christie, which, yeah, okay, it's amusing and clever, but doesn't really help sell me on the gangsterness of this, because as someone who's very steeped in the world of gangsters, here's the girl she has to save. Um, you know, it's not as realistic to have a woman even in the mix because mafia families, they don't, they don't, the women are protected. It's very traditional. There, there's not a lot of, uh, wokeness and crime, believe it or not, believe it or not. Uh, so, you know, and you can say, oh, and they also use the, the line, revenge is a dish best served cold. That's from Star Trek, I assume, uh, originally. I'm not sure. I know I know it from Star Trek, it, so, like, why are you using it? And the whole movie just turns into the girls against the boys, right? So here are the girls, and then here are the boys coming, and they kill them all. And here they are here, a bunch of scumbags, hitmen, and they're going to kill them. Oh, I'm sorry, revenge is a bit dish best served ice cold yeah they, they changed it by one word the librarians get involved and the mother gets involved and here here they are breaking out the 50 cal and you know it's it's the girl's turn i guess you know the girls are going to beat the guys at being hitmen okay uh i'm not sure what that gets you it gets you a hurdle to overcome and the hurdle is Women aren't normally in organized crime. It's just the way it is. Now, if you would like to protest that, I'm sure the many bosses and people who run organized crime will be very willing to sit down and listen to your many complaints on Twitter. But uh, until they do, I'm afraid eh, you undermine your own concept. And you have to uh, sort of you know, adjust for that. So here's a scene where um, the little girl, oops, the little girl says, are you a serial killer? And she's just basically like, no, it's more complicated than that. Uh, okay, how? <laughs> um, and, you know, it makes it sound like, well, you know, it's just a, it, it's just an adult thing and I'll explain it to you later and it'll all make very, very much sense. No, it's already crazy enough that you're a hitman. I mean, contrary to popular belief, it isn't like organized crime guys just have like tons and tons of hitmen lying around that are just waiting for work and that it's a regular thing. 
uh, enforcers in the mafia are extremely rare. They're 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 really non-existent when you get right down to it. You have to have a, a major major organization to even warrant having guys whose specific job is to just kill people because it's very expensive and it's very dangerous uh, on a lot of levels not just you know dangerous in the fact that you're employing guys to murder but dangerous in the fact that you could be caught eventually tied to the murder and then off to jail you go forever so you know it's not a joke and in john wick that it's treated with some uh weight by the cast by the concept by the tone there's no weight to it here i don't feel the weight like oh this is serious this is crime feels like a bunch of actresses you know it's playing around and you can make that work in a comedy if you're going to push it in the comedy the comedy's just not here i mean she asks her are you a serial killer oh it's more nuanced than that haha -ha, i guess i mean if you're going to do comedy, you got to do it. And you got to step on the gas and give us a real laugh here. Because the laugh will help offset some of the lack of realism. If you can do real comedy. Because you can get away with more in a comedy. But you need to still establish the world enough so the comedy works. Comedy's not working. The action's not working for me. It looks like Karen's half asleep in this role. Uh, Cersei looks okay. The action is all right. It, 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 it doesn't feel like, you know, when I watched American Badger, I mean, that guy was moving. And I was like, whoa, the moves on this guy. And then somebody told me in the comments, well, he's a he's Canadian hitman. And I'm like, okay, this all makes sense now. Um, you know, Karen was okay in Avengers and whatnot for what she did, but... And, and here she's doing stuff, but it's not ringing true. Partly because you've got these beautiful, lithe women thrown around these, these goons, right? And there's a scene in this, I don't know if I can find it, uh, but where you got a bunch of guys uh, moving down the hallway and they're all beaten up, right? And so what's the joke? Well, the joke is <coughs> some little girl did this to him. Right? That's the joke. Well, that's the joke. That joke only works if she is unusual. Right? If she's the only female hit woman in the organization, well, you can sell it easier. But not only is she not the only hit woman, her mother was a hit woman. You've got the three librarians who are hit women too, as we can see in the trailer, because they end up shooting a bunch of people. And not only that, they're better than the men. So you've undermined the entire concept. So it's no joke that those guys are limping down the hall after she's been through with them. But now we're experiencing a world in which, oh, there are these deadly women and they're really good at what they do. How? How, how how many, you know, you can sell it when it's one, because, like, one is unusual. Five, not that unusual. So it undermines its own concept. The comedy's undermining it because comedy undermines, just tends to do that. And if it's not funny, then it's sort of just there. It's more glaring. And so the undermining that would normally get covered up by laughs doesn't get covered up. So you're undermining it then. So what do you got here? You, it's not serious enough to be treated as like, oh, these guys are in real danger. It's not funny enough so you can just overlook it. Um, now maybe it's the cut of this trailer. I don't like the cut of this trailer. It's a little too unlike the American Badger movie where I could see the moves. We're getting a lot of quick cuts. And that is an indication that maybe the actors can't do the moves. And that's a problem. <laughs> that's a problem in an action movie. You've got to be able to do the moves. You know, Keanu Reeves, eh, he's been doing action movies for a while. He sells it pretty good. Right? You know, he's not unrealistic as John Wick. Um, but she, 
is skinny girl. Skinny, short girl. Throwing guys around like ragdolls. And and again, organized crime just doesn't use women. They're, they're very traditional in that way. So, I don't know what to tell you, but the whole concept, you know, it's just is not going to work. It's not working for me in this trailer. Now maybe there's another cut of the trailer. Maybe there's a maybe the movie's very good, but this is just sending me the wrong signals. It it, it feels like a very by the numbers. Oh, John Wick is bit big. Let's pitch John Wick only female. This happened back in the day when Die Hard hit big. Everything was Die Hard. Oh, this is Die Hard in a ski lodge. This is Die Hard in a mall. This is Die Hard on a mountain. This is Die Hard in this. Die Hard on that. That's the pitch on this now. Right? John Wick. You've got all these Hitman movies. Right? you got Nobody. you got American Badger. you got all the John Wick sequels. you got this. There's a bunch of others. So, you know, you can hear the pitches. Nobody is probably John Wick in the suburbs. John Wick, all female. All female John Wick. Uh, American Badger, Canadian John Wick. I mean, those movies have their place because people like action movies, but when you're just cranking them out one after another, mm. you know, it just, it's not hitting the right notes for me. I don't believe this. Sorry. Gunpowder Milkshake uh, coming out sometime in 2021. Uh, directed by Navat Papusharu, written by Navat and Ehud Lavitz-Lavsky, Lavsky, starring Karen Gillan, uh, Carla Gugino, and Lena Headley. Look for it in a, I don't know, digital download near you. Uh, 